Today I'm making 100% rye flour sourdough bread. This is one of the easiest bread you can make at home as it requires no real kneading or shaping. To start we have to do some preparation the previous day. Feed your rye bread sourdough starter by combining 160 grams of whole grain rye flour and 190 grams of water. The rye flour absorbs a lot more water than wheat flour thus we are using 120% hydration. If you don't have rye flour sourdough starter, you can convert your wheat starter in about 3 days by feeding it rye flour instead of wheat. Or you can just create a new starter for about 5 days following the 120% hydration rule. Also the previous day combine 360 grams of whole grain rye flour with 360 milliliters of warm water and 10 grams salt. This is our soaker. The rye hydrates very slowly so we are giving it a head start. If you like to add some seeds, you can include them here as well. Finally, 140 grams rye flour goes in the bowl of a stand mixer, followed by the 720 grams soaker and 350 grams sourdough starter. Realize your new scraper is not designed for this task and get covered up to your elbows in dough. If you end up enjoying this recipe, please consider subscribing commenting and sharing with friends. Thank you. Get your hook attachment on and start mixing. The rye flour is not gluten free, but it has minimal amount of gluten in it. This is why the sourdough starter amount is so high, to compensate for the lack of gas retention within the dough. I'm using the stand mixer here only for mixing and not gluten development. Wet rye is incredibly sticky and hard to wash off after. After a few minutes of mixing and scraping the sides of the bow and hook, there should be no dry parts left. I'm hoping to get a dough temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 25-26 degrees Celsius to help out the fermentation phase. This is the weirdest dough. It should have the consistency of wet clay. Scrape everything down and cover with a lid or cling film for about 30 minutes. This will be our initial fermentation stage. As I already said, the dough is a sticky mess. To avoid nervous breakdowns, have a bowl of water ready by your side. Water is your friend. I will stop repeating this, but every time we touch the dough, assume there is water involved. I also prepared some more rye flour that I'm going to use for dusting. Wet your hands, scraper and workbench generously with water and dump the wet clay looking future 100% rye flour sourdough mixture on there. Divide it into two roughly equal looking pieces and give them a rough shape by patting their sides. The first one I'll bake in a tin. Get the dough to roughly the same shape as the tin and put it inside. Press it down to avoid air bubbles, don't forget to wet your hands and smoothen the surface. Give it a generous dusting with rye flour for aesthetic purposes and mark the bread every third of an inch or one centimeter apart. This will help with the portioning after baking and of course aesthetic look. After all I need to get a good picture for thumbnail to get you guys to try this recipe. The second bread I'll proof in a towel lined bowl. The towel should not have protruding fibers sticking out of it or you'll get a complete disaster when you try to remove it. Shape the dough to a round-ish shape, dust very generously bowl the top of the dough as well as the tower with rye flour. Stick it in the bowl. Dust again and cover both forms for about one and a half to two hours. The sourdough is very active and I got a very nice rice. You know that you are ready to bake when the dough is nice and plump and you have cracks on top. <laughs> one day I'll get a good focused shot of my food, but uh, apparently not today. The tin goes in freestanding where the bowl fermented version goes directly on your baking stone or steel covered with a wet heat resistant bowl to generate and capture the steam and help with the oven spring. Bake them in a preheated oven at 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Depending on the size and shape, the time will vary so your best bet is to get an internal temperature of 200 Fahrenheit or 93 Celsius and for this bread this is especially important as otherwise you will get a wet sticky bread that is no fun at all to cut or eat. As always with every bread, take it out and let it cool before cutting it with. 
give the bread in the pan about 10-15 minutes, then take it out to cool completely. The bread is nice, dense, but also has a bit of give due to the sourdough. It is sweet and sour, a bit of caramelly taste. Now go make one and enjoy.